Hello and welcome back to our channel. In today's episode we are going to show you how to be happy. So let's get it started. What makes humans happy, and what doesn't, has been extensively researched by behavioral scientists. We are aware that happiness can predict health and longevity and that it is possible to gauge societal advancement and the efficacy of public initiatives using happiness ratings. Happiness, however, does not just happen to you. Everyone has the ability to make tiny adjustments to their actions, their environment, and their interpersonal interactions that can lead to better lives. 1. Overcome negative thoughts. All people have a propensity to dwell more on negative than happy events, to be a little more like Eeyore than Tigger. Overlearning from the harmful or dangerous experiences we experience in life, bullying, trauma, betrayal, which is an evolutionary adaptation, enables us to avoid them in the future and respond rapidly in a crisis. 2. Controlled breathing. Just now is controlled breathing science beginning to offer proof that the advantages of this age-old technique are legitimate. According to studies, breathing exercises can, for instance, help lessen symptoms of anxiety, sleeplessness, post-traumatic stress disorder, depression, and attention deficit disorder. In order to enhance vigor and focus, yogis have utilized breath control, or pranayama, for centuries. Buddha recommended using breath meditation to achieve enlightenment. 3. Rewrite your story. Rewriting your tale after writing about yourself and your experiences can influence your behavior and increase happiness. Expressive writing has been shown to relieve mood issues and ease cancer patient symptoms, among other health advantages. 4. Get moving. Even a small amount of movement tends to make individuals happier than remaining immobile. People reported being happier if they had moved in the previous 15 minutes as opposed to when they had been sitting or lying down, according to a study that monitored the mobility and emotions of cell phone users. Most of the time, light strolling rather than strenuous exercise was what put people in a good mood. Of course, we don't know whether being active makes you happier or whether contented individuals simply move more. But we do know that being more active is associated with both better health and higher levels of happiness. Please like and subscribe to our channel for life-changing content and hit the like button. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.